What is up, Buru Gang? It's your boy David Mac, guys. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a blessed day, guys. As always, it's been a minute since I filmed a video here at work, and that's where we are right now. Um, I used to film a lot of videos back in the with my mom. I used to prank her here. It's hilarious, but. Anyways guys, I know we have a lot of new subscribers, so if you guys don't know, I work at Michoacana. Pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with those. Um, you don't even have to be Mexican. They're like everywhere nowadays. Ice cream parlors, they still like ice cream, tosti locos, you know, chetos con queso and all that. But, if you guys follow me on Instagram, guys, about a week ago, they actually broke into our Michoacana, and it's kind of crazy because it never happened before. Um, we've been here for four years now. Everybody likes us here, you know, like even the homeless people because we be feeding the crap out of them And I don't mean that in a bad way like I'm really cool with them Like I'll be walking down the street right here and I'm hey, you want something to eat? Boom, I'll buy them food They want chips, they want waters, you know, we give them our frescas because we're cool with everybody here, you know So it, it kind of caught me off guard when I found out they actually broke in and, and uh you know broke some stuff and they stole um just the cash register itself just the drawer they didn't take the whole like register you know what i'm saying so um i kind of want to break it down and um you know tell you guys what happened how it happened and then i'll show you guys the video i'll post it up right now because i do have it for those of you guys who didn't see it but um yeah guys they broke into the michoacana right here in the ie guys pretty crazy if you guys don't know where it is it's right here in rialto um i'm always here so if you guys want to see you know say what's up Come say hi, but um, but yeah, guys, uh, just got my coffee, I got my breakfast, I just finished that already. I'm in the break room right now, but yeah, guys, this is it. Your boy makes all the ice cream here, the best, like I said, guys, best ice cream in the IE, and I'm not even capping, I'm being, I'm being honest, guys. Like, my ice cream, you can ask anybody in Rialto, best one out here, but anyways. Let me show you guys what happened guys. It was pretty crazy. They came in from the front. I could not believe it. I got a call like at 3 in the morning. I was sleeping and then out of nowhere, the police department was A, you know, they broke in and um, I came over here in Chinga. So anyways guys, the people came from like the side over here. They parked on the side because there's parking lots. And then there was three, um, three individuals and they broke the, the, the bottom corner right here first with something like boom, they poked it shattered the glass and then they just literally just boom they just pushed it in they didn't even have to like you know go all crazy they just poked it shattered it and then pushed it in it fell down as you see in the video they just started crawling like one by one boom 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 They came right here. They were trying to stay low so like they wouldn't be seen by the um hold on, can you guys, can you guys see me? They were trying their best to stay low so like they wouldn't get caught by like the, the sensors. Guys, as soon as you break a window in here, the, the alarm goes off. So like I'll tell you this right now, they were super experienced because they, they were in and out in about five minutes. And I'm surprised the cop got here two minutes after they left. So if there was a cop a little closer he would have caught them in the act and that would have been the funniest thing ever but anyways like i said guys they were crawling one by one they were trying to stay low but what they don't know is that we literally have like 30 cameras in here look at one right there two there's another one look at three there's they're literally all over the freaking place so but anyways like i said i'm sorry i'm getting i'm getting off topic they freaking on uh, they started crawling right here came this way I'm glad they didn't jump over this and break something, so they went this way. One went that way. Uh, one came this way right here. It was literally like crouched like this with like his mask on. It looks so crazy because look at look at the cameras right there. So he opened this door like this, guys. He peeked in here, was like, oh, never mind, it's a bathroom. And then when he turned this way, the camera's right there. You can see like his like nose and his eyes. And they're like glowing like, like oh my dude, it looks trippy as hell at night. <laughs> so, like I said, someone came this way. This door was locked so he didn't even try. Uh, 
his two friends came this way and automatically they went to this door right here as you can tell we haven't fixed it yet um but it's going to be fixed today someone's going to come in you know check that out and fix it all up but um they had like a like a barbell or some type of like metal piece you know and just boom and just clack it took them legit like a minute or like a minute and a half to open this door because this door is pretty um is pretty heavy duty so came in here and they freaking the cash drawer guys like i said was literally sitting right there and they just picked it up and then they took my mom's glasses and i'm the i don't like this los ray bands Oh my god. No te preocupes más porque te compro unos nuevos. Ok. Urgentemente los necesito. But yeah, guys, they came in here, they caught the cash drawer, and then after that, they freaking bounced. Guys, and then so once they left, um, they actually came in with a slash hammer. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys see in the video, but they had a slash hammer. They left and they left the slash hammer here. So one of them had to come back, run, come in through the window again, and come get the slash hammer. And then they left again. But and two minutes after, the cops got here with the canine. So yeah, guys, that's what happened. But it's all good though. You know, we have insurance and all that. So. But I am gonna get to work, guys. I'm pretty excited. If you guys don't know, like I love my job. I love making ice cream. And if you guys, you know, if you guys work in any kitchen, if you guys cut grass, if you guys do makeup, whatever you guys do, guys, if you like what you're doing, you know, that's all that matters. So don't let anybody, you know, put you down. Keep doing what you gotta do. Echale ganas, and um, you'll do good in life. You guys ready? Let's go. So as you can tell, I got my mandil on, um, and I gotta put my my on because you know I don't want freaking greñas falling in the ice cream. That's a big no-no. So I gotta wear every day, guys. I wear my my right here. But right now, guys, when I get here in the morning, my job is to uh, fill up the ice creams in the front. So let me show you guys. So see how like, for example, for that size, like really low, I have to make this. I have to fill it up all the way to the top, so it looks really nice. So. Same thing with all the ice creams, you know, we got mango with chamoy, guayaba, fresas con crema, and so on, so on. We got like 30 something flavors, guys. Let's go! You're not gonna tell me that looks fire. Sheesh! So basically, I'm gonna do the same thing to all of these guys. Tú a qué te dedicas aquí, ma? Hacer mis ricas aguas. Las aguas. Las aguas, yogur. Yogures. Y que todo esté perfectamente. Fresas congeladas. Ajá, fresas congeladas. De todo, de todo. De todo. Y le hago a todo. All right, all right. Ya la botellera. Ya la botellera, que no metan ni nada. I got my... Uh, my tia Tita over here as well. Pelan the mango, is that tia? Okay. Look at that, guys. Fresh fruit, picadito. Look at that. Let's go. Yeah? Agua de piña colada. Agua de piña colada. Le ponemos hielitos y en tu casa le pones el chap de ah, tequila. Ah, un gas. Mira, guys. Esta, esta, esta agua está muy rica, nomás. Te pones el hielo y luego llegas a tu casa y le pones un chat de tequila y es la agua de piña colada. Está muy rica. Un chat. Así que está buena para los pares. Está bueno. Voy a comprar jugo. Vengan por su agüita y nomás le ponen hielo. Y la tequila en tu casa. Y la tequila. Las pumitas. Las pumitas nomás. Esta es la de agua de fresa. Fresa de leche. Uh -huh. Fresa de leche. No te creas. Agua de nuez. 
agua de sandía, ah, piña pepino, de agua, piña, pepino. maracuya, chía con limón. Maracuya, guys, that's passion fruit in English, so. Mar ¿Cómo Mar se dice? Maracuya. Ma maracuya. Uh -huh. Maracuya, chia passion fruit. Chía con limón, chia pepino con limón. con limón y chía. Currently making la nieve de zapote, which is my mate, guys. Um, by the way, all our ice cream here, guys, is made in Garrafa, just like it, how it's made in Mexico. Um, they do have a different machine. It's different from this one, which is smaller, but they say that supposedly it doesn't come out good enough. Like this one, this one makes the ice cream nice and spongy when it comes out. So all the ice cream here, guys, like I said, is made just like how it is in Mexico. It's literally like a bote spinning in like icy cold water. So the texture on the ice cream is perfect. So this is it, guys. This is the finished uh, product. It comes out really freaking thick and the ice cream doesn't melt as easy as other ice creams. Check it out. Nice color, it's not too bright, you know. I like to make the ice cream that, you know, has that natural color to it, you know. You don't want to eat ice cream that looks all like freaking, you know, processed that people buy in stores. No, you want something that looks natural. So guys, this one right here is uh, mango with chamoy. We are going to make this one again because this is like the last batch that I have in the fridge. So uh, mango with chamoy, probably one of the top sellers here. This one is also freaking fire. This one's perfect for like a mangoñada or that you just want like a scoop in a cup with more chamoy on top. Woo! This one is fire. Just like that guys, vanilla is done. Time to put it in the freezer so people can eat it tomorrow. Oh, and for all my girls, um, all my girl followers, crop hoodies are now available on the Puro Elando website. Make sure you guys copy yours. It's like a gray camo, freaking super nice. And it has the logo with like a circle around it. So make sure you guys copy yours. I will put the link down in the description so you guys can check it out. Okay guys, so it is 5.30 right now. As you can tell, it is dark. Um, we got all the workers, but they're hiding from me right now because they don't want to be on video, but it's not. What's up, Genesis? Oh, so this kidding. is Genesis. This is actually my cousin right here. Hi. She's single, uh, hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> and then back there, we got Alejandra. Alejandra, say what's up. Hey. To all the, to the Puro gang. You know, she's out here putting in work. And then last but not least, we got Janet in the house right here. Get, hey! <laughs> All right, guys, so I just made a TikTok right now. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, I literally just got on, so make sure you give your boy a follow. All right, peace out, guys. <laughs> They're comedy as hell, guys. But yeah guys, just got off work. Make sure you guys check us out. Again guys, we're located right here in uh, Rialto, California. Right next to the um, Little Caesars. So if you guys are, you know, wondering where it's at. Got the Mamalona straight chilling. I need some tires for it guys, low key. Low key, they're pretty bald right now, but it's big guys. It's still sitting nice and pretty. Let's go. Well, that's gonna end today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of short, I'm sorry, but Usually by this time guys, I just go home and start packaging orders. Like I said guys, we just dropped hoodies, uh, crop hoodies for women today. So like I said, I'm just gonna go home and start packaging those. But that being said guys, make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below guys, subscribe, be a part of Puro Gang, and follow me on TikTok guys. Don't forget, follow your boy on TikTok. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.